OK, I'm recording this in something of a rush and this will be the last chance I have to record till Monday. So um, I apologise if this is a bit hurried. Um, but I wanted to respond. I wanted to do a little addendum to yesterday's video to clarify a few things and to, to modify a few things really because of some new information has been brought to light in the comments section. I had seen the co comments that her husband had left in the fundraising campaign and... I just decided to turn a blind eye to that. To be the better person, turn a blind eye to that. What I hadn't seen was the video that he'd made. And I will link that video for anybody else who hasn't seen it. And it just, it kind of staggers me that they keep, even when your business is in danger, even when those employees that you have, seemingly I have I feel a greater duty of care to their employees than they do, right? that I would turn a blind eye to things for the sake of their employees and to accept the apology for the sake of their employees, but they still can't resist poking and goading the angry bear. Even at the point where they really shouldn't be doing it, they just still can't resist doing it. He says at one point in that video that the mistake his wife had made was to come across this evil, evil man, by which she didn't mean me, he didn't mean me, he meant Thunderfoot. And I, I've got to say to him... You know, she's not the only person to come across this evil, evil man. There are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people on YouTube that have come across this evil, evil man. And this hasn't happened to any of them. So it could be something else, perhaps. Yeah, it just could perhaps be something else she did. Perhaps the fact that she took part in a campaign to write letters to his employer to the local media services in the Czech Republic and to the police to tell them all that he's a Nazi to try and get him in as much trouble as they possibly can. Possibly that had something to do with it and it wasn't just the fact that she came across him but he never mentions any of that in any of the bits either on the fundraising thing or on the video. I, I, how is that helping the dire situation that they claim to find themselves in I just don't know. Look, this is the position that I'm in. Thank you, everybody, for bringing that information to me. And it alters some of the things that I've said. Do I still accept the apology? I still care very, very much about the people, the employees, and I'm still minded in that. That is still foremost in my mind. And I don't believe that anything else should happen to their business for the sake of those employees, right? So I'd still like everybody, if it was up to me, if I could just mind control everybody, I'd get everybody to just let this pass. A couple of people made the comment that, on the back of the Nazi analogy I'd made with regard to surrenders, that in many ways, Jim, what you're talking about in situations like this, where you accept that the other person doesn't really mean it, but they're making the apology anyway, what you're talking about is surrender, and not apology. And do you know what? That's actually a very good point, and, and that's probably right. And that's what I'm talking about, effectively, is accepting a surrender and not an apology. But by Christ, you know, these people don't know how to surrender very well, do they? They, they just don't know when to fucking stop, really. It's a horrible situation, that, when somebody just keeps... You know you really ought to stop for the sake of other people, for the collateral damage for the other people that's involved, but they just can't stop poking you with the stick. They just can't let that go. Okay, I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to say. Thank you for so many people uh, listening to what I had to say uh, yesterday and leaving so many comments. Bye for now.